Good morning, friends and fellow traders. It's Friday. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 11th, 2019. So this morning, my goodness, uh, President apparently was quoted as saying um, trade negotiations are going very well. Somewhere around 5.30 a.m. this morning, Eastern Time, and the market has just taken that as there must be a deal on the way. Um, <laughs> the optimism of a partial or some kind of a deal has spiked the futures to really unbelievable levels. I, I, I got to tell you, um, this is really surprising to me to see how much the market is reacting when we don't have any details. I mean, we have no details. As a matter of fact, we've kind of seen this before, haven't we? Where the market had all kinds of optimism of a deal that ended up in no deal and actually an increased tariff war. But we're going to abandon all kinds of rationality, I guess, here and just um, zoom up on nothing. So let's take a look at this for a second and see if we can make any heads or tails out of this technically. Now, honestly, our, our technicals um, on a gap up all the way up into here are really kind of a mess. We run into some price resistance here in the chart, as you can see, um, at this gap up this morning I'm right now up 284 points in the dow futures they just continue to push higher and higher and higher as the morning goes on and um i guess the question i have to ask is could this trigger a short squeeze now what what is it i get that question a lot what's a short squeeze a short squeeze is when we have a lot of traders that are setting short this kind of a gap up is going to trap a lot of traders into losing positions and what they're forced to do then is buy to cover and that creates more buy pressure on the market and we get more of a push up in that short squeeze that can be extreme we can get big moves um, as a result of a um, of a massive short squeeze so could that occur and I, i'm going to say yes that could occur today um they could uh, literally trigger this massive short squeeze uh, today, pushing out all short traders. But then at the same time, we could also look at the possibility as we're gapping right up into this resistance level, um, the market could go, now wait a minute, what do we really know? We gap up here and then find nothing but sellers up here and create a pop and drop pattern and sell this right back off. So. Both of those uh, situations seem relatively possible uh, to me this morning. And as we go along through the day as, uh, well, whether or not we're going to hear any news about a trade deal, I think the complication for every trader to be thinking about is what if we don't know what the results of a deal are until after the market closes? How many, how many of you are willing to hold risk into the weekend if we have that potential? No deal, tariffs go into effect next week. Um, rising tariffs, 30% tariffs. Um, do you want to be holding trades in that circumstance? Now, if we find out during the day, we can certainly react to that. We can try to trade around that. But just kind of keep that in mind. If we don't know anything by the end of the day, how are you going to plan your risk into this weekend? Um, boy, I got to tell you, this is so uh, wild in its price action. I don't exactly know how to deal with it. Uh, luckily, it's it's bullish, and, and I'm going to make money on this uh, move today. But I, I think I probably, um, if I had winning trades, nice bullish trades, I think I personally would be looking at this big gap as a gift and I would be taking profits um, or um, locking in those profits with a trailing stop of some kind to protect those gains just in case we get that big shift to the other, other side. So watch that closely this morning and be a little bit careful 
But that would probably be my tact and will likely be my tact um, where I just take some profits today on um, bullish trades uh, very early this morning. And then I'll wait and see how the market uh, uh, continues to trade throughout the day before making any more decisions. Because technically speaking, we have nothing we're basing this on. This is all emotionally based trading. And um, there's there's just no assurance in that emotionally based trading because this abounding exuberance could turn into irrational exuberance in in about half a heartbeat so kind of consider that when you um, are thinking about um, how you're going to move forward for today so um, good news I guess that there may be something brewing bad news is we don't have any details and we don't know what that could actually turn out to be so let's take a look at the spy spy doing the same thing massive gap up here this morning huge gapping up into price resistance up into this area right in here so we'll want to watch that closely for that potential of a short squeeze or that potential of a pop and drop. And we should be prepared for really volatile price action today. Just simply um, as the news continues to come out, as news, uh, if it does emerge and comes out, watch how this price action can spin back and forth very, very quickly on any news report. It could be a little bit challenging um, to trade, so uh, be very, very careful. Let's take a look at the Qs. The Qs also hugely bullish this morning, just gapping up. Uh, a monster amount gapping back up into these highs looking very very strong um, watch for that possible short squeeze to push us higher or watch for that possibility that of a pop and drop as we run into this um, resistance and and traders go oh, now wait a minute how much risk do I really want to take in this and uh, they start taking profits so let's just watch this closely keep in mind that um, all of these moves will uh, potentially be breaking downtrends in the market could change the technicals of the charts dramatically today um, it's just hard to know what to do um, when we're so emotionally charged like this let's take a look at IWM IWM also gapping up substantially this morning on uh, this news, gapping right into some price resistance. Let's keep in mind our 50 day moving average on all of these indexes are still in decline and IWM will, will be gapping up underneath that 50 day moving average at least at the open and the possibility that we could have that short squeeze that pushes us up through there is certainly there so let's watch that close um uh, i don't i don't know how you plan to trade around this i don't know how um, all you can do is just grab a hold um hold on tight and and uh for this ride because it's it's likely going to be a wild ride today um let's take a look at um the vix now the vix is going to be nutty this morning we're going to see uh the vix likely gapping uh, substantially lower and maybe running down into here and we've been talking about this level of price support down here it's entirely possible that we could gap down and, and move right back on through there if there is news of a potential deal if we do have something that the market really likes we could see that support uh, drop out of there and we could see fear drop out of the market and um, the bulls would then have the uh, ability to just run kind of wild um, on the day so um, watch that closely um, as fear drops out now if we happen to drop down into here and all of a sudden hear that there is no deal or things kind of fall apart we could really see this spike up off of here so be careful any pop and drop could really create some fear as we head into the weekend everybody just unloading and getting rid of risk as we head into the weekend so boy this could go either direction and we we're gonna have to just be really on our toes today be and trade very very carefully as this continues to develop to develop in this emotional 
emotionally charged uh, atmosphere uh, starts to starts to diminish as actual facts come out because we don't have any facts on this yet just conjecture and and optimism um, at this point let's take a look at t2122 this is going to be interesting on t2122 because we're down here in this bullish reversal zone and this gap up this morning um that could approach 300 points before we get to the open um this gap up this morning could swing us all the way back up here very very quickly up here where we just go from um, uh, down here to zooming right back up here um, in in optimism so um, we we could quickly reach a bearish uh, reversal zone um, all in one day if this optimism con continues and that short squeeze gets triggered so be careful chasing uh, you don't want to chase into a move that puts us into a situation where we could be a long way from a stop loss so for example in this chart we're gapping up to here where are you going to place your stop loss in this how are you going to handle any kind of stop loss in this i mean technically your stop loss needs to be down here right down underneath these price levels and that's going to be a massive risk um, with such a, a um, strong gap up. So consider that carefully. I know it's real easy to see a market like this and get caught up in the emotion of it and that fear of missing out, chase into a trade. But what you may do is chase into a situation that puts you at a massive risk situation because there's no good logical place to place a stop so kind of keep that in mind keep in mind that there could also be very fast price action which will make it very challenging um, to protect yourself um, in that circumstance as a matter of fact dow futures that were looking at 286 are now at 265 so just in those few minute moments of time we have we have moved um 20 points um in the dow futures and we could see uh those kind of moves um, happening in mere seconds um this morning as the market opens and all of this um, enthusiasm or um, reaction to this uh, news um, spills out in the market so just be um, really careful um, think think slowly act slowly um, this morning around this market um, because the emotion can really get you caught up in that that whole fear of missing out and create some really bad decision making um, so stick to your rules stick to your plans and focus clearly on the price action of the chart let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today we do have a few things here on the economic calendar that might be important um, we've got um, import export prices that could certainly move us around if there's a happens to be a surprise there I think probably the more important number is going to be a read on a consumer sentiment. Um, our our economy is very, very much based on consumers spending. And if the sentiment in the market starts to slip, we could see some problems here in the market. Consumers holding back, not spending into the holiday. That could be a bit of a problem. So watch that closely if that happens to be a surprise. It could also be very, very bullish. Um, consumer sentiment has held up extremely well in this market. So keep an eye on that. We could end up with a bullish or bearish um, uh, number, and I think that might move the market around a little bit. And then also keep, keep in mind we still have this parade of Fed speakers going on this week so watch that closely let's take a look on the earnings calendar we have um, a couple of companies that that uh, you know are, are reporting this morning that that might be market moving i guess um fast and all 
Fastenal um, gapping hugely up. You know, Fastenal um, provides a lot of the the nails, the screws, the things for all of this building that's going on right now. And real estate has just been extremely hot in this market and very, very, um, very, very strong as these low rates encourage more people to buy uh, buy homes. And as you can see, Fastenal gapping up substantially this morning um, on its earnings report. Looks like they've done a really good job here. So might want to keep an eye on that. And then INFY, INFY, um, the only other real notable earnings report this morning, um, looks like they have reported well, gapping up this morning. So everything is kind of hitting um, all at the same time. We also have optimism over in Europe today, and that is because um, the Prime Minister and uh, the UK, or, or the, um, uh, the Euro uh, Union, seem to and be making progress on a possible Brexit deal. So that's increasing optimism over there and maybe removing one of those stumbling blocks uh, for the market itself. Um, sterling uh, rising sharply here uh, this morning uh, on that news. So we'll have to watch as that continues to develop over there in Europe. Let's take a look at uh, some stocks that could be setting up. But just before we do that, if you guys would do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, one of the things I attempt to do in these videos is to remove all the hype and the conjecture and just look at the technicals of the chart and how we might deal with that. Certainly we have tremendous exuberance this morning. Will it be, um, will it turn out to be bullish or bearish? I don't know because we don't know what the news is going to be on, on trade. But um, just by um, having that little bit of focus in the technical so we can avoid that fear of missing out those poor decisions that we might get made uh, that we might make um, just as a result of getting caught up in the drama of the day so think about that and if you find these videos helpful could you please also do me a favor and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment just a brief comment it doesn't have to be anything fancy it doesn't have to be much but um, any comment um, helps the helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks and helps us grow and i gotta tell you i'm i'm so humbled by you guys's comments i thank you very much um i appreciate it a ton um and you guys uh, mean more to me than you could possibly know so let's take a look at a few charts that could be setting up things that have been holding up really really well in this market and could get some benefit out of this um, great bullishness that we're seeing this morning. Take a look at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, um, I've been talking about this chart for a while and it we had this fluctuation in here where we broke above this resistance, but um, due to the market fluctuation, bounced down and then bounced back up. It looks like Dollar Tree will be gapping up this morning and really the, uh, not a big surprise. We're gonna see a lot of stocks gapping up this morning. So Dollar Tree looking uh, to gap up and possibly even break out of these highs and maybe start moving that on higher you guys know i've been mentioning i'm going to go to this uh, chart with no um, averages on it and i'm going to go to home um, h-o-m-e home i've been talking about for a while and that possibility that home could be moving out of here breaking through and you can see popped up through here um, yesterday and has this big open gap above so you might want to keep an eye on home it's looking pretty good at the moment and the bullishness in the market could certainly help that just move on higher so really good potential uh, chart to be paying attention to um, take a look at Apple now Apple um, surging yesterday, surging higher. And as a matter of fact, I think we have an all time high breakout here on Apple. Apple looking strong and this morning gapping even higher. So we're getting that great bullish move here in Apple might be worth keeping an eye on. And I don't know that I would certainly, uh, well, I would tell you exactly. I would not chase this move this morning, but any rest consolidation of pullback could provide that next opportunity into the trade. 
and one that I would be watching for. Um, take a look at Target. Target has been strong. Um, these retailers have been showing lots of strength. So Target breaking through this resistance up here, showing strength here. And this morning also gapping up, looking uh, like it wants to move right on up this morning and so I would keep an eye on that uh, remember target gapped big on an earnings report and we've consolidated that move now and it may be ready to just take off and move on higher here particularly if we've kind of um, resolved some of these issues in the market over over trade uh, could really get going um, Home Depot I, I noticed yesterday nice move in Home Depot Home Depot responding higher picking back up notice Home Depot could be gapping up this morning trying to break out so again some of those retailers looking very very good other places we might want to watch or look today would be over in the financials if the market is going to, going to recover and really be um, a great recovery remember we've got big banks um, uh, coming up on their earnings reports and right now we see WFC gapping up this morning trying to show some strength there might be if this if this market rally is real there might be something going on here in finances uh, or in the finance sector that we need to keep an eye on so watch that closely another chart in the oil sector starting to show some signs of strength would be Valero Valero breaking this downtrend holding it as support seeing um, that refiner starting to pick up here we may be moving up toward these upside targets up here so I'd keep an eye on Valero it's starting to shape up pretty decently and um, turning that corner coming back around um, now I'm going to issue this statement and warning every one of these stocks that I'm bringing up could certainly shift south if the market reverses so please keep that in mind and I want to echo again that comment to just be careful today we could see a lot of volatility stay very focused to that price action and stay um, very flexible we don't want to overcommit one way or another um, just in case uh, when this actually turns out to be some kind of a pop and drop instead so watch that closely and stay very focused to those news reports because we could shift either direction and then think very carefully about how much risk you want to carry into the weekend if we don't have an answer to what has occurred in trade negotiations before the close today so with that everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you a wonderful weekend have a great great day and we'll talk to you all bright and early monday morning